Yeah, hi everyone. Um, just want to show you guys my sleep tracker I built um, in Notion. Um, it's really easy to use. It's customizable. You know, I've always been frustrated with sleep trackers, apps, trying to do it in a spreadsheet. It just never stuck. Um, I was never able to capture enough info to make, you know, better decisions on my sleep. And so I'm going to show you what I've built and um, you can customize it. Um, I've got views for different months. Um, so I'm just going to give you an example. Like this is something I would enter like the dinner time at 6.30. Um, actually, this is, let me do this in uh, point video. And then you can enter what you ate. Let's say you had shrimp. Um, I've entered a bunch of stuff here. Dessert as well. Um, if something's not on here. You can just create your own. Uh, item so now as cake this is also a multi-line select so if you really went to town on dessert you could add another one um, acidic I get heartburn a lot so trying to figure out what's driving that so I can enter I had lemon and dinner um, daily grams of sugar I try to keep it under 20 um, I do intermittent fasting you know usually a 16 or 18 hour fast and then I just try to be mindful if I'm full after dinner, so I'll check that off. What's great is at the bottom of these, um, you can see it is tallying up, you know, the averages and what's been checked or not checked. So you get a quick little glimpse of kind of um, where you are uh, in terms of the month. Um, if I went for a walk, if I ate out, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, the number sign here, this determines, this is the data type. Um, so you can see checkbox, number sign. So you have to enter a number here. So I, on a scale of one to four, I enter what, if I had heartburn, one being the worst, four being, or five being the, the best. If I took any antacids, coffee, how many coffees, what time I had coffee. I usually try to have my coffee before 10 a.m. Um, and then I have a cup of decaf in the afternoon. And I'm trying to determine if that's affecting my sleep at all. So I usually have one decaf coffee by two or three. Um, so if it was three, I would enter 15. Uh, if I use my sleep lamp in the morning, um, if I got sunlight uh, in the morning, like this morning, I went for a run uh, at 1030. So I got some morning sun. It's nice out. Uh, I enter my exercise time. Um, you know, if, let's say I worked out. Today at 5.30, I would do 17.30. Um, and I'm doing it like this because I'm going to eventually export all this to a sheet and export, um, which will allow me to run better, more operations on it. Um, I give myself a sleep rating, one, two, or three. Um, oops, sorry. That's something else. Um, let's see. Back to my sleep rating. Sleep rating. So if it was a great sleep, I'll put in uh, one. If it's a bad sleep, I'll put in three. Um, shit, sorry. I don't know why it keeps moving over. Um, what else do I got in here? Um, the type of exercise. This is all stuff I've entered. Again, you can add whatever you want here. Um, it's pretty easy to use. Um, if I, how many times I woke up, um, if I was awake for more than 20 minutes, uh, the number of hours I slept, um, this is coming from my aura ring, all this stuff, uh, bedtime, awake time, my hours of REM, this was a great night's sleep. Um, the last screen time, so let's say I have watched TV or let's say I woke on my computer until 10 o'clock at night, you know, I would enter 10 and then I would say here. Uh, laptop or monitor, whichever one. Monitor's um, worse, I think. Just some sleep tags, how I felt, um, and then some notes, any other tags. Creative, you don't have to use that. That's like if I had creative time. Um, so that's it. I mean, I feel like I've never gone deep enough with it or just haven't had a trusted system to use. And it's really nice being able to get, you know, like your averages at the bottom here. Um, this is for the whole year starting today. Um, and then I've also built out, um, filtered views. So like if I wanted to see just April, 
Um, I could do that. You know, it's got a filter on April if I wanted to see May or whatever. Um, you can build out your own too, just by, you know, creating out of view or duplicating one of these. And here, which is great, you can, oops, keeps going to my sleep tips. Um, here is the sort. So let's say you wanted it to sort by something else besides day, like number of sugar that you had trying to find out why you're having sugar a lot of times it's because you slept poorly the night before um, and then the filter you can add a different filter if you want um, anyway it's uh, been super helpful i started doing this um, just yesterday and i have another tracker for like lifting and weights and health and food but this one i feel like is most important for me right now so um there's also some sleep tips i've got a link here um so i got some sleep tips my top 10 sleep tips and then some references matt walker who's a uh sleep i think doctor or phd um he's just written a book called why we sleep which is great and uh, he talks about caffeine and the half-life of caffeine and decaf and all kinds of stuff so have a look at some of that stuff anyway hope you guys uh, find it useful and feel free to share it with other people and um, hit me up if you got any questions. All right. Stop.